Uh, we know that you can get too very comfortable with that style. You need to be able to kind of be ready for the, the, the multiples, which we know Kung Lao can bring to the table, especially in the hands of Foki. And I believe we're going to get straight into this and this losers. Action is dizzy, was sent to losers by Tekken Master in winner's side top eight in a game five last round situation. And Boki, of course, managing to defeat Yamani to get this far. I think our matchups today have been absolutely ridiculous. And there's loads of time to reflect and capitalize on, on what to do differently. And Boki now, he's going to land himself a full combo. Has no offensive bar left, so he can't extend. But he's blocked to the low, and there's a full punish. Just build the final bar he needs for damage. And it's getting rid of all of the defensive bar for Dizzy. He has confidence to make a Ooh. comeback. But honestly, there's a confirm. This should be the round for Boki. Oh, Unless no. he drops it. Dizzy throwing a lifeline. No defensive bar, though, so no last breath to save him. Oh, I thought for sure we'd see a dive kick. Oh, get the clutch block gets hit. Oh no! Oh way. No! no way! No way! Dizzy TT with the impossible comeback. He had no defensive bar and less than a percent of health. How did he do that? It just came down to just the back one mix-up and Boki being very, very defensive. And then in the scramble, you just need one more hit. It can sometimes be really hard to decide what to do because the dive kick was unsafe, right? You're gonna dedicate uh -oh. to that one. Last breath was a factor. I think not. Oh no, the wake up down two was a bad call to make there, getting completely crushed by the back one four. Confirms as well. Side switch, yes. Okay, down three blocks, Dizzy still moving in, Boki. Has to be really careful. You see, just he has to be so careful on the defense here against Sonya. Oh, point blank teleport, and it paid off. Boki, plan out all the stops. Oh, okay. Big neutral hop. Goes low this time. Oh, this crushing, blow. crushing blow! Oh, almost enough to take the life bar by itself. But another teleport, Boki, not afraid. Oh, big neutral jump, and there it is, the quick, cheeky low. Gonna get tagged. And Dizzy's taking that first game on the back of what is, in all intents and purposes, a real master comeback by all definitions. The fatal blow is a wonderful thing, especially if you've got an advancing mid that keeps the opponent grounded. The crowd, they're gonna be cheering for Boki. They do want their hometown hero to win this. He has one hell of an opponent with Diddy TT, but Boki is, I mean, this was the guy that defeated Honeybee oh. yesterday. He's collected some... Amazing heads already. So that was an expensive sequence from Boki. He spent a bar on the orbiting hat just to use it, and then the second on the amplified spin, of which was breakawayed by Dizzy for a free punish. Boki lost half his life almost, and most of his resources for that decision, unfortunately. Okay, oh, big wow. jump kick. The Kumlao's jump kick so good. Yeah, it really is. And it's mega plus. Ooh. Risky stuff there. Oh, the he's staggering it now. Dizzy TT, very, very good at confirming the 134, even if it hits a little bit late. Unable to confirm now. Wake up roll. Instant jump kick. The read's going to be on point. The forward one doesn't believe, doesn't confirm the rest of the string just in case. But unfortunately, that's another round gone. And it feels like already things are kind of falling apart for Boki a little bit. A big thing is Dizzy is playing uh, very carefree, right? Like he, he's very confident. He knows he beat Boki yesterday. You know, he is one of the younger players. It's not going to take very much to, to rattle him. He's very oh, composed. No. And he's playing like that right now. I feel like it's important to keep your cool against this kind of playstyle. Boki, very chaotic. And if you can Ooh. keep very calm against that kind of playstyle and really contain him, which is easier said than done for sure, you can have a much easier time with it. And that's what we're seeing from Dizzy right now. Yeah, Dizzy dropping the uh, whiff punish on Wake Up, but able to capitalize anyway. And he's going to get jumped in on, but that forward one string is not going to hit its mark. Boki keeping things nice and safe. He's getting little hits here and there, but unfortunately, apart from game one, Boki hasn't landed a single significant connection yet. Because every time he leaves the ground, Dizzy is going to challenge oh. as well. Oh, wow, walks wow. up into it. That was uh, unfortunate. Here comes the grab now. Now Boki has that fatal blow and it will kill at this health near enough. If he can just get anything, chip damage into it. Some that's kind of... That's why Dizzy's being confirmed. Oh, Ooh. the jump in. Risky. I thought for sure that might be it. And he's just waiting for the counter poke. He was waiting and waiting and waiting and the fatal blow never came. Boki tries to do something else and unfortunately that also was the wrong decision to make. And I think oh, but a big part of it is just putting a lid on it. At the moment, every time Dizzy TT is getting hit, it is something single, like a dive kick or a jump kick. It's nothing really to write home about. But you're, you're seeing Dizzy's defense against the uh, the general Kung Lao mix-up is if he reads the mid, he's going to sit there and block. If he reads the throw, he's neutral jumping. We've seen him do it a lot already where he just holds up and if he thinks he's going to throw, that's his option. And if it pays off, he's going to get a huge reward for it. At 2 on 2 on 2 is actually slightly plus on block 2, so Dizzy's going to sit there and hold it. Okay. Ops not to amplify. He wants to keep positioning. And the wake up up 3 from Kung Lao. Meter spent and nothing accomplished. Jump back, dive kick, hard read. It's going to work out as well. These big decisions Spokey's kind of known for. I get it. The neutral jump. There it is. Oh, oh no. no! Is that enough? No, not quite. Oh, oh well, but that, that will be. be. Snap! Oh. Get out of here, twin. Stop stealing my brain. Match point! For Dizzy TT. No. Okay, last round to go. 
God, Boki has such a mountain to climb. This has been a fast, fast five rounds as well. I get another. I mean, he's not always getting a hit for it, but it's showing Boki that the throws are dangerous. Oh, and Amiti down three, too. Sonya's down oh, three. Oh, exceptionally no. good. The second hit hits, so the crushing blow requirement ticked off. They're down three. Low profiles, the jump kick. Locks the energy ring, but it's not going to be enough. Here we go. He needs more. He needs so much more. Oh, no. The whiff. No punishment, though, really, Dizzy. He's going to get a grab anyway. This is Boki's last lifeline. He has to do something. Oh, the drone drop. Coming in hot. And there it is, the minus seven. Walk back. Okay, here's confirmed. Dizzy has no bar. This could be huge. You see the fatal blow? No, holds it. Oh, the mid. No bar. And there it is. The reversal, just swift punch to the jaw is going to be enough to send Boki out of the tournament, unfortunately. But what a run. What I, a I run. I was, honestly, I was half expecting Boki to just dedicate to forward one fatal blow. Because he hit it. Yeah, you think? He hit it, man. And yeah, the round of applause for Boki, the hometown hero. Unfortunately, fifth is where his journey ends. But top eight was a phenomenal result. He took out some superb players on the way 